at it. Oh, there we go. First fish. What in the heck is that? If you guys know what that is, leave a comment down below, but I do not know what that is. What's up everybody? Welcome to another Angler X video. In this week's video, I'm up in northern Wisconsin doing some lake hopping, looking for a new lake, a new awesome fishing spot. I'm trying all new lakes. Well, you'll have to watch and see exactly how things turn out. But anyway, stick with us. I think you're going to love this week's video doing lake hopping up in northern Wisconsin. Don't go anywhere. Our first flag of the day, guys, up in northern Wisconsin, looking to find some fish. This we're out here early in the morning. This is our first flag. Looks like you might have dropped it. Something definitely crunched them. Got teeth marks on them, but uh, we're on a small lake up in northern Wisconsin. I uh, found a mid-lake point, and it's right out in the middle of the lake, and drilled a grid over the top of it here, and found the shallowest point, and put up, put up a couple tip-ups on top of the point. And that was our first flag. He had a Looked like that minnow had some bite marks. He didn't look too healthy. I'm gonna put him back down there, see if that fish grabs it again, but that's the first sign of a fish we've seen. Could be walleyes, bass, northern pike in here. So we'll see what happens, but uh, just getting started here today. Hopefully get a few fish. Uh, leg up. Fish on, fish on. And we got a walleye, look at that. Beautiful walleye. Here we go guys. First walleye of the winter, and it's a beautiful fish. Look at that. So guys, our first fish of the day, had that first flag and the fish dropped it and then I put that minnow back down there. He looked a little dead, but this may have been the same fish that hit it the first time and he came back for it. Just a great looking walleye. We're out on a lake I've never fished before again up in northern Wisconsin. And uh, I just studied some lakes and Kind of looked for different walleye lakes up in the area and then studied those and I found a lake here with a with a mid-lake hump or a point. It's deep all around us and then it's like 10-12 feet right on this hump. So I put these tip-ups out on that hump. That's a great fish. I think I'm going to keep a couple fish for dinner. That's a perfect size, perfect eating size. And uh, let's get that bait back down there and see if we can get some more. But I got two tip-ups out, and then I got a jigging pole I'm going around. Uh, just trying to jig up a fish, too. But great start. That's awesome. I'm just using some small sucker minnows. They're pretty lively, though. Perfect size for, for walleye.
So when I'm setting these tip ups, this is my, the red bar is the bottom. It's about 12 feet. And uh, that's my minnow right there. And then that little line just above it, that's my split shot. So I want that just above the bottom, just like that. So there's my minnow right there, right by the bottom. That's perfect. So I thought I was on the shallowest part of that hump over there at 12 feet, but now I'm finding that I was not. I was just on the edge of it. because so now I found six feet here. That's the shallowest hole I've seen so far. I moved my tip up into about eight feet there. So I'm actually not on the hump where I caught that walleye. Maybe drill a few more holes around here just to kind of get a lay of the land. I don't want to spook the fish too much. This water is crystal clear. I've had a couple marks now in real shallow, but I haven't caught anything. They didn't seem very interested in my bait, so I, I don't really know what species of fish they were. I'll keep moving around here a little bit, see if we can get another fish, but so far just that one walleye. There's a fish, he's coming up for it. Got that one. That one bit right away. Small fish. Little perch. That one came in and did not hesitate at all. Now we're in a little deeper water. We're in 17 feet here, almost 18 feet. I'm just bumping around different hole to hole here, trying different depths around this hump out here in this lake. Currently in about 20 feet, maybe a little less. Well guys, we've been at it for a while now and uh, just had that one walleye and that other flag trip this morning. And I got one little perch and that was it. We uh, we drilled this area out really good and fished around, marked some fish, but uh, they just didn't seem to want to bite. I don't know if they're really game fish that we're after or what, but uh, we're on the move now. We're gonna, we're gonna drill out some more areas of this lake. I drilled a line of holes across the basin here. Maybe look for some crappies. There's a nice point over here we're gonna maybe drill around that and then there's some shallower backwaters probably <clears throat> we'll probably finish up in this lake back in those shallower areas see if we can find some panfish but uh we're on the move see if we can find some fish Well guys, I fished all over that lake, drilled I don't know how many holes, but uh, we just got the one walleye and I uh, ended up marking a bunch of fish. I think they're just really small panfish, maybe small bluegills. I didn't catch any of them, they'd chase it up and, and then they wouldn't bite, but uh, we're back in the truck. It's about noon, we're gonna regroup, get some food in our belly and then hit another lake. Haven't quite decided exactly which one, but gonna be another one right in this area there's all kinds of them so we're just out exploring new lakes seeing what we can find and hopefully landing on on a good bite but uh, we did get that one nice walleye so so that's something um, I thought about just sticking it out out there there's some snow flying now we got overcast skies maybe stick it out see if we can get another walleye or two but I think I'm gonna move on and uh, We'll keep this spot in uh, in my back pocket for later. But uh, stick with me, we're gonna hit another lake. Hmm. Well, this lake is loaded with something. As soon as I dropped down, I was getting terrorized. I'm guessing it's perch, and we're gonna find out real quickly here. We go fish on. We'll see what these are. Baby perch. That could be an issue. Feels a little better. And 
decent perch. Not decent, but bigger. So they're perch in this lake. Fat one, too. All right, moving on. I've seen enough. There's one. It's shown. And it's a perch. Big surprise. So, we know there's perch in here. isn't necessarily a bad thing, but we need to get a little bigger before I get excited. We drilled all the way across this whole lake here, all the way across the main basin. I uh, got down to about 32 feet, just looking for suspended fish, crappies. Now we're on the far end of the lake and there is a weed bed. So we're gonna slowly work our way to that weed edge and just see if we can find some fish. But uh, I'm sitting in 15 feet now. So I'd expect that since the water is crystal clear that any weed growth should be nearby here. But right now it looks like it's just a pretty, pretty much just a hard bottom. It's marking as real dark red, which would indicate to me that it's sand or, or a harder mud. Keep moving. Keep on moving. So I had a lot of weeds in that hole. Now I'm right here and I don't have any weeds. So I should be real close to the weed edge here, which is exactly what we want. Here comes a fish. Good fish. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Good fish. Here he comes. No, we added. Oh man, that was the best mark I've had all day. There's another mark. Good mark. He's coming up. Got him. Oh. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh. It's a good fish. Oh. It's a good fish, guys. Oh. oh, it's a bass. There we go. Oh, that was fun. Yes, finally caught something. Man, we've been punching through this whole lake and Went right down the middle of it, nothing, and marked a few, caught a little perch, but now we're right over by the shoreline. I saw this steep bank over here, and then we had a tree right here, so I drilled right off the end of that tree, and I missed a fish, and then I just caught this one. It's a really pretty bass. We'll get him back. Maybe there'll be more. Decided to go back to the old tried and true lake that you guys have seen me fish already this year. I caught some crappies and bluegills there. Some of the lakes I tried today didn't really find much, so I got about an hour to fish here. So I'm going to try this spot that I did well earlier in the year and see if I can put a couple more fish on the ice here just to end the day, but 
It's a pretty slow day over overall. Got the one walleye and a bass and a few small perch, but that's part of trying new lakes, you know. You you take a risk and, and explore some different stuff and it doesn't always pan out, but it's still fun and you never know when you might land on that that gem of a spot and that really pays off. I had fun today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, learned a lot. Got some couple spots I'll keep in my back pocket for later. Some fish. Got him. Little bluegill. Look at that little guy. That is small. It's my first bluegill of the day, now that I think of it. Still have not caught a crappie yet today. I say we do that here, right now. Okay, again. He wants it though. Got him. A little better. Another bluegill. All right, getting bigger. Don't worry. Won't get a big one here yet. They're here. And they're eating. So this is the third lake I've fished today. It's just been absolutely quiet in all these lakes. I haven't ran into another fisherman all day. The first lake I fished, I was the first one to drill holes in that lake. Looks like somebody maybe was out here earlier this morning, but it's just amazing to me how, how quiet these lakes are. I just love it. Come up here and basically just do your own thing, not be bothered. The big ones will bite right before the sun goes down which is right now, so they don't have much time. They're gonna have to come in here real quick, like, cause I'm about to wrap up this video and head to the cabin, but it'd be nice to put a couple of, couple of big ones on the ice here. Fish, got him. Little guy. Little guy. Got him. Ooh, this one feels a little better. There we go. That one wanted a dead stick. He was not all about the jiggle. He just wanted it sitting there. Well, guys, it doesn't look like it's going to happen here. Pretty anticlimactic end of the day. It's really kind of a tough day all around. Just really didn't get anything going. But uh, that's fishing, I guess. We, we gave it our best shot. Fished from sun up to sundown. It was still a good good day. Had a good learning experience. Got to fish some new water. Did catch the one nice walleye. Wow, what a fun day of fishing the lakes of northern Wisconsin. I really had a blast fishing these peaceful lakes. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, thanks for watching.